These are the structural ribs that are going to hold the whole polystyrene um, house together. They're the structural elements that make the house robust. We have a rod that runs down the vertical piece, which the door frame will attach to, to the, um, into the actual concrete. We'll put a, a hilti through there, and then we'll cast the concrete so that the concrete binds to both the door frame and the polystyrene. Now, we have these running horizontally throughout the house, as you can see over here. We've taken them down in all the corners. We've also cut out this poly um, the same type of rib section that is going to occur throughout where the wall plate is going to go. That will give the whole house the rigidity that it needs to withstand high wind, um, bad storms and, and all that type of stuff. Hans Roche, he's a structural engineer that's getting involved with us on these low-cost polystyrene houses. Shen, welcome to the Float Factory. Thanks, mate. I'm going to take you just directly into it. We, we've, we've plastered these um, 100 millimeter concrete cores with 25 mils of plaster on either side. And then we've reinforced it with this mesh, as you can see here. Now, the roof is done exactly the same as the walls. We've got these 75 by 50 purlins that we've placed the polystyrene cores onto and then plastered the top. We're going to test and see how strong this thing actually is. Shan, I'm going to start off by giving it a, a light bash to see how strong it is. But um, we're eventually going to put a window here. So I'm not really too afraid of, of damaging this thing. But this is, this is a polystyrene house. And... As you can see, it takes quite a bit of beating. So, Shan, what do you think about our polystyrene house so far? I think it's got good potential. What, Mike, you can see I'm actually quite impressed with what I see over here because in spite of you giving it quite a pounding on that side, Absolutely. there's no effect. And I think what happens here is that the polystyrene has a cushioning effect. So what it does is it localizes the vibration to that one spot and it doesn't carry it across. It also doesn't carry it through the, the wall itself. From the outside to the inside also, it doesn't carry along the wall as well. Absolutely. We've got yeah. absolutely no stress marks yeah. or any evidence whatsoever yeah. of the pounding that we, that we gave it on the other side. Yeah. Okay, Mark gave uh, the wall a nice smack with a 4-pound. We're going to try now with a 14-pound. <laughs> 